Hi, I'm John Earl, engineer here at White's Electronics, where we design and build these things, metal detectors. And there's a thing down here called the search coil. And what I want to demonstrate is the fact that these search coils put out a magnetic field, which then induces a magnetic field in the ground or whatever you're searching, which are then detected. And I have this little demo here. Let's start out with the simple things, which are, this is a hunk of steel, okay? And this is a plastic tube. And as you can see, it goes relatively rapidly through there at like 32 feet per second per second. And here's a magnet, which is basically the same size, and it does basically the same thing, falls with gravity. Okay, now, suppose we drop this into an aluminum tube. The magnet does not stick to it at all, and, of course, neither does the steel. And, of course, steel, then, is going to fall through here at the same rate with gravity, and if we put the magnet in here, so here we go. It's still in there. I can hear it moving. And it takes about seven seconds to go through there. And the reason for that is, as the magnet moves through, it creates current through, it's like a, a generator. It creates current in the tube, and that current creates another magnetic field which is the opposite of this one. So they oppose each other, and it takes a while for that to work its way through. And that's a demonstration of what we call the eddy currents that are flowing in the metal, as in the metal detector, where we create a magnetic field with a search coil, and then it, in turn, causes currents to flow in the metal object that you want to find, be it a gold nugget or a coin. So that's, that's the demo. Permanent magnet, this is a permanent magnet. It's a pretty strong one, by the way, neodymium. And uh, it just kind of goes through there. And it's working its way down. So that's it, kids. Now you know how a metal detector works.